Yes guys, welcome back to Hair System DIY, your go-to place for hair system advice. I hope you're all doing well today. We are going to be doing a before and after. Bit of a tutorial. I'm going to be removing my full French lace. I'm going to be doing a bit of a clean up and then I'm going to be rebonding for you. So let's jump into this together. <music> Now, this video is sponsored by Le Vivid Hair Systems. It's the one I'm wearing right now. If you're interested in getting one yourself, you can avail of a 15% discount. Check the code in the description box below and it will have all you need and you can use it as many times as you like. So don't forget that one, guys. Right, let's do this thing. <sighs> It doesn't really matter which one of these ones you use, guys. I prefer C22 just because I've always used it. I've always used it, but please, 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 please try and keep it out of your eyes because it, it, it stings, it's greasy, it's hard to get out. What I tend to do is I tend to cover my eyes when I'm doing this and I always go for spraying along the hairline first and then sort of like working back, working backwards sort of rubbing that in. I also have my mirror here, ooh, spooky, which is obviously essential. You need to see what you're doing. But yeah, sort of rub that in. And I can already see, I can already feel that it's actually starting to come loose at the front, which is great. This is exactly what we want. The best thing to do as well, if you're wearing tape, is whilst it's on your head, try and remove that tape from the actual base of the system itself because this just makes it a bit easier later when you've got the system off your head it's much easier to get the tape off now than later obviously when you've got when you're using glue as a bond it's a bit trickier and it does take longer to actually remove the glue from the base especially of a lace system um, the reason i've got tape on now is just because I fancy it. You know, I go through these phases of when I prefer glue or when I prefer tape uh, or when I go when I go hybrid, when I sort of go both. But at the moment, I'm just really fancying tape. It certainly is easier for maintenance for any of you sort of newer wearers. And just make sure that you spray the C22. You don't need to go crazy with it either, but just sort of spray the C22. Once you get the front off, it really actually starts coming off quite easily and it's much better if the actual tape is still connected to your head than if it's connected to the actual base because it's just easier to pull off and you don't have to be quite so delicate with it you can literally just obviously your scalp is much less fragile than the system so as you can see this lovely french lace is coming right off it's actually detached now if you look at the back it's just connected to a bit of the tape there we go this actual system is a custom french lace and it's about a month old and it's holding together pretty well let's see there so at this point as you can see i've still got a load of tape the great thing about this this is green tape by the way again uh, information on where you can buy it, how to buy it, is in the description box below. But the great thing about it is it doesn't really come apart. It holds really well, which makes cleanup so much easier. So I'm going to whack that in the bin. Now this is the point where you want a bit of alcohol. Isopropyl alcohol. Anything over 70% will do a really good job. I've got mine here that I get from Amazon. And you just wanna, you always want a bag of cotton balls handy because you can just dab that on your head. You'll probably get a little bit of tape, if you use tape, still connected to your scalp. So you'll wanna make sure that those are coming off and into the bin, never to be seen again. Goodbye, there you go, perfect. 
And yeah, just give your scalp a really nice massage with the isopropyl alcohol. Because you wanna make sure you're getting all that tape off, all the glue, if you're using glue, obviously you wanna get all of that off as well. What I quite often do at this point is I actually have a shower just to really give it a good clean. I tend to use tea gel. Don't know if this is available in the States, but they've probably got something similar. Uh, it's basically an antifungal shampoo and you apply it to your scalp. I use this about once every two weeks. Again, I'll put it in the description box below, um, but it just gets rid of any sort of fungal buildup on your scalp that's sort of manifested itself while the system's been on. It's a fantastic, fantastic shampoo. So I will be applying that and no, you will not see me in the shower, unfortunately for you. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna basically shave this bit here, the bio hair, so that I'm gonna have a nice, clean, found a bit of tape as well, a bit more tape. Uh, I'm gonna have a nice, clean scalp, ready for the system to go back on. So guys, now it's time for the rebond. Now, as you can see, I've shaved the area of my head where the hair system will go. Always have myself a cup of tea whilst I'm preparing all of this stuff. Love a cup of tea. Right, super important. Number one, you will notice there is a small white line across my forehead, 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 whatever you want to call it. Now this is where I want my hairline to go. So I always draw a line. Now for me, it's about three to three and a half fingers, that is. So let me just, if you do the three fingers, when I'm looking away, it's I'm looking at the mirror just to see what I'm doing. So that's three fingers. Some people go four. I tend to go between three and three and a half. So that's where I want it to be. <clears throat> Important as well to make sure, really important to make sure your scalp is clean before you do the bond. So again, I always do this a couple of times. Uh, once when I've actually taken off the system, give it a nice clean. And then just before I put on the system, again, I just give it a nice clean. Try to make sure if you are choosing to use a pen, try to make sure to avoid where the pencil mark is because otherwise you're just going to take it off okay just give that a really nice clean with isopropyl alcohol as i said anything above 70 is fine 70 percent you can get it on amazon just make sure you get the back as well perfecto whack that in the bin excellent okay and then the next thing you want to be doing this isn't a must, but it's something that I always do because I have quite sensitive skin, is using a scalp protector. Now, as I said, I mean, there's hardly anything left in that, but it doesn't really matter. And you don't really need to wait that long for it to dry. It tends to dry pretty fast, which makes application sort of even easier. Make sure you get it on the back as well, the weather system's gonna go. But look, I've still got, I barely used any of it. And I hardly any left, I hardly had any left in the first place. So, yep, yeah, this is all good. And this should last you, I mean, this has lasted me about three months. So, possibly longer actually. Po possibly like four to five. So, it certainly does last a long time. It's not too pricey at the moment, which is, which is great. But you can always order in bulk as well. And last but not least, we have a taped up hair system. Everyone has their own way of taping a hair system. My way is basically doing a tape around the perimeter, can get a bit sticky. Um, and then sometimes, not always, but I'll put tape across the middle as well, just for added stability, well, stability, um, stickiness to the actual scalp. It just gives it 
a better hold, basically. So what I'm going to be doing, I've got my mirror here as well. Now, some people work front to back, some people work back to front. I don't particularly have a preference. This time I will go front to back because I have marked out where I want the system to land with my white pencil. You want to make sure you're matching up the sides as well. And just so that you can see where the actual base is going to go. Make sure that it's landed where you want it to land. This is certainly not the easiest bit of putting a system back on and it can take time and sometimes you need to try it a couple of times. It does require patience and practice. And from there you just want to push it back. Like so, I want to make sure that it's lined up and just trust, trust in your own ability to get this right. Yep, that's looking okay. Just pushing it back to where it needs to go. Excellent. Okay. Sometimes you'll have a brush. I'm not really going to bother with the brush, but the system is back on, fits, and that's the most important thing. You want to push it down just if there's any sort of kinks that you want to flatten out. And you just want to make sure, I mean, the scalp protector should do most of the bond hard, the bonds hard work for you, but just push it down. And then you can sort of get a brush. I don't actually have a brush with me. I've just got a comb, but we'll do a brush later. But yeah, that's pretty much a before and after full French lace removal and rebond. Now guys, if you are new to this and you won't actually know what it feels like to wear a hair system, a video is going to pop up right now, one of my older videos where I talk about this and actually what it feels like. So you might find that interesting. Please don't forget to subscribe to see more of my content. Don't forget to like this video and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye for now.